since the Allegheny Journal is fortunate enough to have the mayor of Covington here, Tom Seibold, Mayor Seibold has agreed to give us a little background on Old Town Covington. Thanks very much. I'd love to. Old Town Covington started in the early 90s. Uh, it's 501c3. Uh, it was kind of a, I don't want to say a replacement, but in the old days we had the Retail Merchants Association. And as the Chamber of Commerce grew and changed, the Retail Merchants Association kind of absorbed into the Chamber, which was great. And the Chamber does a whole lot for the City of Covington. At the same time, those merchants in the downtown area weren't getting some of the support they used to get. Um, Old Town Covington sticks strictly to the historic district of Covington. It's about an eight square block area. Uh, a lot of historic homes, a lot of historic buildings in that area. And you're also putting on several events a year. And we do several events a year. Hometown okay. Halloween coming up uh, Saturday. Uh, we do the Christmas Parade, that'll be the first Saturday in December. Uh, we have Cork and Pork. Uh, that is really a cool event. It is. It's, it's well, a, many you know, people are not aware that, you know, that judging is really a serious, is. serious and, business. Uh, Cork and Pork is, and we're planning on having a judging uh, class in March. And that, uh, you take that class and you're qualified to judge any Kansas City barbecue cook-off in the United States. And, and which there's a huge number. <laughs> there, every weekend there's one somewhere, and a yeah. lot of weekends there's several. Wow, what I had was great this yeah. last year. And I, I really enjoy the cork and pork. I, I, I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's all good. Uh, you know, back in the 90s, the Old Town Covington was created. Uh, Temple Kessinger was, was involved as city with the city council and as mayor at one point back then. And uh, Jeremiah that works at the uh, health place up here, Jeremiah was the first director of Old Town Covington. That's very odd. We just got through talking to him about an hour ago. Yeah, but uh, he was first director. The Old Town was organized and it, it ran well for several years and then it just kind of started to, to drop off just a little bit, lack of particip participation. Um, so it, it revitalized back in uh, around 2010, 2012, it really started picking steam back up. Bill Zimmerman uh, was instrumental in, in that happening. Bill loved Old Town Cut. He did. Uh, we miss him. The city park uh, at the end of Main Street was kind of in Bill's backyard. You know, his house was Lexington Avenue, you look at the back, you were looking at the city park. Yeah, the historic district was always just his pride and joy. So Bill was, was excited about uh, Old Town Covington and wanted to see things happening. And, and we got together and we got Old Town revitalized. Um, do a lot of good things. We're a, an affiliate of the uh, Main Street, Virginia Main Street program, which is through the uh, Housing the Department of Housing and Community Development. Lots of good ideas yeah, there. A lot of stuff comes from them, a lot of good information. <clears throat> we, we would hope to become a full-fledged Main Street community at some point. Okay. Uh, it's not as easy as it used to be. Uh, they don't, you don't have opportunity about every three years to apply. Hmm. But you've got to have full-time staff, you've got to have a full-time building, you, you've got to have a lot of things before you're qualified. Right now we operate with uh, part-time staff and that's uh, my wife works three days a week, four hours a day. And that's, she's that's, a secretary. She's a secretary. That's the staff right now. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it's it's working to do things for downtown Covington. We went to Lewisburg last weekend before last to Taste of Our Town. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but we're thinking about doing one of those as a fundraiser for, for Old Town. You guys have got a lot of good ideas. And another one is the dramatic improvements on Maple Avenue. Yeah. And you know, you're not saying you're going to st uh, end there. Well, the next block would be Locust to Main. Uh, the uh, planning money's already been approved with a little bit of construction money. Uh, we're at a phase now where we're applying for the next phase so we can have the construction money. And if that comes through next year, by now we should have that ready to go. So it'll be the next block will be done, and then we'll apply for the next block that goes from Main Street to the river. Many people, if you follow the journal and other media, uh, may know that the mayor and the city of Covington are working uh, through a VDOT program on a number of projects throughout the town. And you, you normally don't think of VDOT 
doing what's called the smart scale program but it has to do with walking trails and other things that enhance the quality of the life experience in, in various cities in Virginia and the mayor and uh, other councilmen in Covington are participating in it. it, it it's a grants process it's, it's pretty intense isn't it? It is, it is. And, and we've been very successful so far with with smart scale uh, VDOT's worked well with us and, and encouraged us to continue applying. We applied this year for a few projects. We had a couple that we got through and a couple we didn't. Uh, you win some, okay. you lose some. Right. That's right. They, we're on the radar. Yeah, and you're definitely making important. an impact. That's what's important. As a matter of fact, you brought in one of the regional planners to advise you on that process. Yeah. And, and so, I guess it's first come, first serve, or whoever has the best idea. There, there's some kind of a, a scaling process. There or a, yeah. There's a, the, the, the grant process is complicated, and there are certain criteria, and sometimes we hit it, sometimes we don't. Uh, well, we didn't expect this. We were going to talk a little bit about Halloween. But uh, we're certainly uh, glad to welcome the mayor of Covington. Thanks very much for dropping by. Good being here.